So once you go and you get your application open, you're gonna go tools and then transfer utility. Okay, so just make sure your IP addresses match up for the HMI that you're gonna upload or download to it. And I'm uh, gonna make another video after that for how you can find out the IP address if you don't have any information about it, the device that you connect to. So over here we have uh, 192.168.10.110, which is the Banner View Plus 1250. Uh, once you select the target, of course, first you're gonna go to communication tab in your application. And you should have you should add it first, and then when you go to application and transfer utility, you should have this uh, this IP address pull up. Otherwise, you can do right click and start browsing. So this is gonna give you <clears throat> gonna browse all over for whatever it's connected to. Okay, whatever is your laptop connected to is gonna browse and start browsing. The same thing like what we do with the Linux with uh, RS Linux. So first, you should have the IP address after you found it. You can use a Wireshark or any other application to find the IP address. So once you get this and you can name your uh, uh, driver, you can right click and configure driver. And then you can add any IP address that you're expecting to have in, in the blank floor or in, in the floor, okay? So this, uh, I just add 192.168.10.110. And again, you're gonna hit OK. Go back to your transfer utility. And then if you go into upload, you're gonna hit upload first if you don't have an application. So since this is internal, internal, internal storage is not external. So if your HMI doesn't have SD card, you can choose which one, but normally it's gonna be internal storage. And then you can name your file. Uh, you can name your file, and then you're gonna destination folder where you wanna download it at or upload it. So let's say we're gonna upload first, and then the destination file folder for the upload is gonna be over here, user, and under uh, downloads. Okay. So we're gonna after you selecting the target. So if you select this, it's gonna it's gonna read from this 92.10. If you read 1.30, that's, and then you're gonna, if you hit this square right here, it's gonna show you what's in there. So once you hit this, because I'm connecting right now to 10.110. So if you hit this, you, once you hit this box, it's gonna give you the available application that installed in the HMI. So now it give me one, two, three, so I'm gonna select the first one and hit OK and then upload. The Ash Ploy already exists because I have it already in my desktop. Do you want to override it? No. So uh, let's let's try a different destination so it doesn't give you um, override option. So let's say document, my document, and this file. Okay, right here. So, forget about documents. Uh, yes, content download. Yeah, yeah let's, let's do override, so it's not a big deal. Upload. Yes. So now we're going to start uploading. So now you are successfully uploaded. Hit OK, and you can close this if you're done. If you want to download something else, you can hit download, and then you choose your application. So let's say documents, and all right, anything. 
it's not on the CNC. Okay. All right, so I have this one thing. And let's say you're gonna download this, hit open. You're gonna hit your target. And then internal storage, replace communication. So I don't wanna replace the communication. Run application and start up. You can choose this if you wanna, every time that you're gonna power cycle the HMI, this application will power up by itself. So you don't, nobody can have to go and select it from the HMI itself. So for now, I don't wanna do this. I just wanna send it over to show you guys how it does and how it works. So, and if you wanna, if you wanna keep the same name, you can keep it like that. If you wanna change the application name, you hit this box right here and then you can change it. Yeah, you can change it over here uh, as a test, okay? So, and then once you hit download and you choose the destination file, destination uh, HMI, because sometimes you are connected to the network and you have multiple HMI, so you don't wanna send the application to the wrong destination. So hit download. This will download. I remember. So now we have we downloaded at whatever Jabo HM15 test. So if you go upload and you're gonna go ahead and select this box, it's gonna give you the whatever is inside this destination. So that's right here. That's the one that we just downloaded. At. So it was not here before. So that's a, that's a quick video for to show you how to upload and download. And uh, for some reason, if you don't have your IP address ball up right here under the network, you can do right click and do start browsing. Or if you cannot do this and you cannot even see it, but most likely this will take care of it. Uh, you can close this and you can open your applications. Oh, by the way, so if you wanna check your uh, application, your factory talk view version, you can go ahead to help and then about factory talk and you're gonna give you the, the release number. So version number 11, okay? And uh, you can go ahead and do open, open application. And the InstaFizz, it usually come with any, 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 any with all the software. It's come from the factory. So any any new software you're gonna have, you're gonna have InstaFizz the uh, under uh, slash me, and then you're gonna give you the the number, the last the last open with version number. You can hit open. Sometimes it takes like a few seconds, sometimes it takes like maybe one minute, it depends about your uh, laptop speed and how many applications you have it open. So once it's loaded, now you can go to communications right here in the second tab in the right. You're gonna do communications and then you're gonna give you everything right here. Let's say I I get this one out and I want to add another one. So you're going to hit right click and then add device. So it's going to give you what device that you want to connect. So for, for, for the quick, for the quick, I want to show you both ways. So you can go Ethernet, IB devices and scroll down and you can go panel view or you can do this way. You can type right here. BVB for panel view and we'll show you panel view plus all right okay so you can do that too All right, so it's gonna give you by panel view plus all the way in at the end, right here. And you select your model from whatever you have in hand. Okay, so I will make another video for how to select this and how to, if you go into download your application setting and we can go all through this one by one in details uh, from the beginning until you become professional. And after that, we can do some uh, video for ignition. If somebody interested, 
leave it in the comment below I can do any 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 video for servers uh, logics RS logics anything related to automation uh, so whatever if you need a specific video that you need to see or you want to hear it so just leave it in the comment below I will make a different video for if every topic as requested so when I have time of course so all right thank you for watching I will see you in the next one